So what is going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about a hot topic that's been kind of bothering me for a while, man. I've kind of stayed kind of quiet on the topic, but I will tell you guys, over the last few weeks, even months, um, I started to see it pop up more and more and more on my timeline, and it's really bothering me. It's, it's, it's a shady practice, and I'm calling it the Division II scam because it's probably one of the shadiest things that's going on in our Division II community right now, right? Um, and it's not cool at all. Like, it, it, the crazier part, it's actually your own, it's your own community members pushing this on you, right? And to give you guys a little basis before we get into it, you guys know I'm pretty upfront with you with my sponsors. I pretty much only use products that I already were using before. First off, we have the control free grips, I have them on all my controllers. And then we have Advanced GG, which is the energy product. I was already using energy products. And this one is, if you look at the ingredients, a lot healthier than what you can kind of see out there. And they're upfront with what's in it. So the products I use are products I use, and those are people who I have partnered with, right? And I used to be partnered with Elgato, which I still use their products. It's just our contract ended, right? So upfront, those were my partnerships. But recently I've been seeing some crazy things popping up and it's from this one brand and I've been seeing it over and over and over and just to give you guys a little heads up, they have reached out to me in the past and they've reached out to me multiple times. If you look at this email right here, there's actually three back-to-back -back emails from the 9th to the 14th of April, right? And that was of last year. Never did a contract with them because I just didn't think it was right. Like, like the, what they were asking to do is just wrong. And I'm seeing a lot of creators do this. And then look, look at the re email. It says, hello, interested in placing ads on your YouTube channel. Ads for this site, DVINGnet. Interested, pre-rolls, 30 to 45 seconds. List of channels we work with, EK1, Running Badger, Shadow Gaming, Warzone Highlights, The Wild Gamer, Triple, blah 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 and so on right so probably some division creators you've seen in there right and i haven't gone and checked but that's the list they gave me and i will tell you i'm not going to call out any creators i just think what's going on in our community right now is probably one of the shadiest practices going on in the world so what is that site right so that site literally literally sells you exotics yeah sells you exotics look i just want to see take a look at this eagle bird they're charging $179. It's on sale right now. It was $219, but they're charging $179 for Eagle Bear for PS4. I think it's the same price for Xbox, and I think it's $10 cheaper on PC. Yeah, you can literally buy a nice headset, a gaming controller. That's half of a PlayStation 5, half of an Xbox. Let's take a look. They have a three bundle for $399 if you want the Ravenous the Eagle Bear and the Regulus. Exotics that aren't even worth it. And that's the bigger issue. Like, like these exotics aren't even worth it. Like, I don't even use them. Like, they're just average exotics. There's, there's high-end weapons that hit harder than these. And the fact that they're charging, taking advantage of people, $400 for three exotics is ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And look at this. Look, look what this thing says. It says... You get the regular exotic pistol, you get the ravenous, you get the eagle bear, you get lots of high-end equipment during the boost, and then it says it takes from 7 to 21 days. But look at this, you have to account share. That means you have to give them your account and password. And it says guarantees. So you literally have to give them all your information and just trust them with it, right? And what's crazier, there are creators right there are division two creators that are saying that they've actually tried this service why are you lying this come on there is not one division two creator that's actually used this service to be honest they played the game enough and they don't need to oh it gets better guys listen Let's go to the hunter mats. You guys know I have guides on how to get these. Um, they're pretty simple to do. They're pretty easy to follow. These guys are charging $11 for each mask. If you want a two mask one, it's $22. If you want one that gives you four masks, it's $44. What? What is going on here? 
Like these masks are so easy to do. If you just take your time, you could put it on normal and do them. Like for them to be charging and then for, for, for creators to really be pushing this is probably one of the shadiest practices I've seen ever. And if we look at it, they, they do hunter masks. They do custom builds from your streamers. What? They do Keener Watch Boosting, the Ravenous Exotic Rifle. They do the named Armor Farm Boost. They do named weapons. They do named, you can pretty much order anything and these guys are charging you for, for things that don't even, targeted loot is probably the easiest to do thing to do in the Division 2. And recently one of my friends just got on the game and he's been playing it. He's been playing it and we've gotten, we got him a pretty solid Hunter's Fury and he's already doing heroic control points in two days. Well, after he got to level 40, I helped him farm a little bit. He he already had most of the pieces. I dropped a couple pieces for him. And right now he's farming heroic control points in two days. And these guys are trying to charge you guys money. And there's creators telling you guys to do this. And what's even worse, the whole thing that's even worse on all of this, to be honest, is that there are creators that will help you. Um, like you guys know me, I have a full-time job. I come home, I do content full-time too. And then I even, um, I, I try to stay healthy, I go to the gym. So I literally have a full-time job, come home, do full-time content, and then try to stream. And for me to do raid carries and stuff like that, it's just, I don't even have three active people in my clan right now. Like I have me and two of my best friends, and that's it. For me to find a full clan, it's tough. But there are creators like GC Rock. GC Rock probably is one of the hardest working content creators for carries that I've seen in a while. And this dude carries. Like the last time I think he did a stream, 11 days ago, he was doing Dark Hours and Iron Horse carries. Um, and then he has a community, like they're, they're, they're pretty active. He has a full clan. So his, he, I think they have like a legit full clan that they raid all the time. So like you, could, you, you don't even have to do it with him. There's other people. I have a Discord. It's not as active for the raid because we're just at a slow period, I would tell you guys. But... There, we do have a Discord, right? And our Discord is a great place for you guys to find people. But please, please do not fall for this scam. Like these guys telling you that they've tried the service, they're promoting it on you. They, they show you builds and then they say, hey, look, you guys can get all these items for paying for them. Like that's ridiculous. Like guys, don't, don't fall for it. I think it's probably one of the shadiest practices right now in the division community. And somebody had to call it out because there are streamers like GC Rock. There are other streamers on Twitch. There are other YouTubers who will help you, who will, who have clans. There are clans out there that just raid and they're looking for people to play with. Like there are people willing to do this. So there's no reason why any of you guys should be paying $200 for an exotic, $400 for three exotics. Like, come on guys, it, it's a shady practice. Don't support that movement, call people out. If they're doing something like that, telling you to buy in-game items, call them out, man. Like, like don't, don't be, and stop supporting. Like, like stop, if you stop supporting the videos that they post that in, they will legit stop posting it, right? The, the, we have a lot of new players, a lot of returning players who didn't have a chance to get the raid. So like they're pushing this on them. And these guys are like, oh, this is the only way I'm gonna get this exotic. It's not even worth it to tell you the honest. Like I don't use my raid exotics. Like I use my other exotics. And even if you really truly wanna get it for your, your little wall because you want it to look cool, there are people out there. There's people out there that will help you and will do it for you guys. And, and that's just my rant for today, guys. Don't Don't fall into it. Um, I got offered a ton of money to, to promote that and I'm not going to promote it on you guys because it's a shady practice and, and I just had to call them out because they should know better. Some of these guys are a little bit bigger. Like uh, obviously there's smaller division two streamers and it's kind of a tough time for division two streamers. So they get caught and like, you're like, I'm not making any money. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to promote this shady website that's telling you to give your password to another site saying that they've used it before when they have it. Guys, just be careful out there. Don't do it. And hopefully um, we can share this video, bring knowledge to the community, and let them know, hey, there's people out there that want to help you, and there's people out there trying to take advantage of you. All right, guys, we're wrapping up here. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Hey, nothing but skills out.